So folks, I wanted to up my game with my cookie decorating skills. I've learned what I can to do some samples, but I brought in our resident artist here, Sheila, who can just do a fabulous cookie because I really want to make some great Christmas cookies this season. So I thought I'd go to the expert and she's going to teach us how she does it. So the first thing we have to do is mix royal icing. The royal icing, yes. Right. And I'm going to teach you how to do that because the consistency has to be perfect. perfect. Absolutely. So what we have here are some heart cookie shapes that we've already or I've already baked. Um, when I took them out of the oven, I do know this, I flatten them while they're still hot just to make sure we have a nice flat surface because I do know from having to bake them for Sheila the flatter, the better. The flatter, the better. She does an excellent job. And I didn't know that that you had to put the sheet on top of it to make it real flat. Right, when that it is, comes up, I'll just take something, even just um, a, a flat spatula or another baking sheet, and I'll press it right down on top of the cookie, just lightly, just to press it all out so I have a nice flat surface. To that's work a with. great idea. And uh, it helps me even out the flooding because it's so flat. Right, so now we're gonna learn how to flood the cookie. And the consistency I do know with this is a little thinner, right? Than yes. what we're gonna do for the stenciling. Correct. Okay. Here so we're going to have one cup of, um, of powdered sugar. This is half. I had another one over there, so we'll do. Oh, you're just eyeballing it, aren't you? <laughs> there we go. All right, so one so this cup is of one cup of powdered sugar. And then we're going to put um, meringue powder. Right now, some people use regular just egg whites in that. Yes. But if you're worried about having um, real egg whites in your royal icing, a lot of people just go with the meringue powder. And I'm going to put one tablespoon. A tablespoon or a teaspoon? Tablespoon, they say. Okay. And I just got this at Michael's. And then to make it more wider, we put cream of tartar, just a pinch of it. There we go. Okay. Now the key is adding the water. So you're going to mix that up, right? Yes. And I just brought some water here and we're going to do it by the tablespoon just so we kind of have a better idea of how much, um, water we need for this one cup mixture. And you just put little by little. So one tablespoon, two, you think that's okay? And I'm going to wait and see, and then you can always add more. Okay, now see how that is, and it's kind of yellowy, and it's um, runny. We're gonna actually mix this for three to four minutes, and supposedly it's gonna get a lot whiter. So we'll come back after we finish mixing and we'll show you what we have. Okay, so now we've been mixing it for a while and what do we have? All right, so it's, it's a little thick. Yeah, I think it's a little bit thick. We need a little bit of more water. So just like that's a, a tiny little bit? Yes. Okay, and I'm going to mix it again. You can already see that it's getting lighter. This is the consistency that you need. Okay. So you want it to and be it able to drip more off. wider. Okay, so yeah, it is a lot wider, isn't it? Yes. It okay. Is. All right, so now let's get the rest of it. Okay, put that down here. Okay. Uh oh. 
This one broke on I'm us. So <laughs> we'll be using that one. See the consistency of this? Oh, good. So you basically want it to be able to run off of your correct trowel. Okay, so now how do we actually get it on the cookie? Because I've seen online where some people will put it in a piping bag yes. and pipe an outline edge. I like it that way. Now, I make my own um, cone. Oh. I don't like the, um, the piping bag because I don't... The nozzle that you put on it, it's very thick and I like it more thin. Oh. So I make my own cone. All right, so and let's it's get some. more, um, it gives you more control over it. That's what I oh, think. Oh, okay. Are you gonna show me how to make one? I'll show you how to make a plastic, um, from the plastic bag. You can use any bag. Oh, or you can use parchment paper, right? You can use parchment paper, you can use plastic bag, you can use, um, um, Ziploc bag if you don't have any plastic. Um, okay. Anything you can use. You can use parchment paper. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very See, now, easy. Sheila's an expert um, henna painter. Yes. <laughs> so, so <laughs> That's what I used to do. <laughs> <laughs> she's very experienced at making these these cones, so I was impressed when I saw you, her. You making. just hold your um, start again. Let me let me actually. Why don't I do it and you teach me how I'm doing it? So we have a piece of plastic. See how it's cut into a, a rectangle like that. Okay. So now what do I do? Now hold this. Hold like, your like, thumb like that. Yes. Okay. And fold it. Fold it like there that. There you go. And you hold it from here down here and try and make it into a and um, still use this hand to keep yes, rotating keep it. rotating it and make sure that this this portion also oh stays with the plastic correct there you go am i, am I making it a little too big that's fine if it's big it's okay there, there you go you got it oh wow okay so you now you it. you basically want to make sure that she's right that inside piece stays it flat. stays yes Okay. And then there is uh, a seam over here where the plastic, uh, see how you see that seam over there? This, this the outside piece. Plastic, yes. The outside piece of plastic. And so. you tape that. Okay, so just get some regular tape. There you go. And tape it. So Good that's job. all in place. Oh, there. Oh, that was easy. Okay, so see, there's my cone. Sheila's got her cone. All right, now. And then what you do is you put, the icing in the comb. See, now this is the messy part. You can do it with a spoon. I think it would be better with a spoon. Okay. I think it was good right there. Ah, uh, there we go. There you go. Okay. There, you try it. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. That enough or should I no more a little bit more there you go that's good perfect all right and now we're going to fold that okay so now what do I do now you fold that this piece, this piece down okay so with the, all together that triangle part we're gonna fold it forward Correct. over the over the seam right yes over and, the opening and then on the from the right hand side fold it in that there right you there. go. Okay. And from the left hand side too. Okay. And try and, and then fold again. Fold it again. Oh. Fold it again. Okay. And then now. tape it. Okay, so I'm taping it. Why? You're taping it so all the uh, icing doesn't come out from top. Oh, okay. I got it. Okay. So you can even tape it more if you want this way and this way. So the icing doesn't come knowing out. Knowing me, I'm going to need to put a lot of tape on this. Correct. <laughs> That's my you, problem is it always ends up coming up the top every time I've tried this. But no, I haven't done it with your plastic bag. You, I see some over here and make sure that oh, we, we want to really, really enforce the tape over there so it doesn't, um, okay. it doesn't come out for you. From the top. Okay. From the top. Yours looks so dainty. Mine doesn't. Well, it's 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 always a practice you have to you know you're doing it for the first time so the more you do it you know everything needs practice all righty okay now we can um, cut the tip of it okay okay 
so that's where you want just a little that's where you can basically decide what size tip you want correct. just by cutting it correct and so comes out like yeah. that and you hold it right from top over there oh, the very top correct. okay so that and make sure it. make sure it is real tight and you just keep squeezing more down and, and yeah and very little don't squeeze a whole lot and that's no I'm just gonna have to get right here okay see I'm holding it up there like that oh not down on the ground. not down on there you have to make it into this is where you have to have a steady hand there you go on. There you go, you're doing good. Oh, I see. By putting your hand up, it actually you lays it much. Lays. Um, oops. Mm, not too show me. Hey, you're doing an excellent job, Carol. Well, see, I think my problem was I was going, when I tried to do this before without a piping bag, see how perfect. That's puffy that is there is because I was laying it right on it. Correct. But by and keeping see how it up above, and clean it. It's really. a nice smooth edge now. Very good. Okay, so now what do I do? And then all we do is we take. This one, that's okay. We take the <laughs> the icing, and all you do is. Oh, fill it out. So can I use it from here? Well, actually, that's probably good to keep in the bag for um, for the other. And you can do dots with it. You can do anything. I'll show you later. Does it need to be thicker to do dots? No. This is the same consistency. Oh. Okay. I think that was the problem with my truck. I tried yeah. to do dots before. Hold it, hold it on your hand like that. Okay. There you go. And now spread it. Oh. And keep you spreading. And do it very lightly. You don't have to press it. Oh. Go very lightly. There you go. There you go. Very good. All right. But you also want to get to this in time before your it dries. edge dries, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, but see, the nice thing about having the edge is that your icing is not going to go past that. Correct. I really like that idea of when you're beating, you're piping the icing for the border, you don't keep your tip down along the edge. That I think that was my problem. Wow, well, look at that. All right, so now and I've got that dimple. And then you're going to tap it a little bit. You're going to tap it and shake it. All right, now I have a couple bubbles on here. Okay, when you have little bubbles, oh, we can get um, do we have something to poke in there? All right, give us a minute. We're gonna find something to poke this. Okay, so I have some um, little air bubbles here. So, so you, just poke it in there. So have something to poke it. You can even use a toothpick. Now will that pop open? Yes, that'll, be, that'll pop open and then just shake it. Oh, okay, to get rid of the little dimple. There you go. Okay. There's one here. Perfect. Look at how flat that is. And, and now you have to let that dry. All right, that's the best one I've done ever. It's because I got a pro. <laughs> you did an excellent <laughs> job. All right, so we're going to let these dry, and a lot of times it takes, what, 24 hours? 24 hours, yes. I would usually do it at night and then let it um, oh, okay. put it on shelves, like a, a baking sheet. Or, mm -hmm. and just leave it there overnight and then it's ready in the morning. I remember when we started doing cookie stencils and Joanne and her husband, um, Mark, who's a master baker, they would make samples at home with royal icing and they would have all these samples out on their counter and the next morning they'd come back and they were eaten because their cat, cat would jump on top of their kitchen <laughs> yes, be careful of So <laughs> she, she finally learned that she had to put them on a cookie sheet and put them in her oven. Yes. And then there was the time that she forgot that they were in the oven and she turned the oven on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we have our cookies. We'll be back later and she's gonna teach me how to stencil. Great job. Thank you. All right. Okay.